Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, uh, Canelo Alvarez news, guys. Canelo Alvarez, uh, you know, some people call him the face of boxing uh, because he's, he's famous and he's done things in boxing. Listen, it's getting to the point where it's getting really embarrassing. It's really hard to talk about uh, Canelo Alvarez because it's not only about Canelo Alvarez. You know, it's the ena enablers. I've told you that uh, Frankenstein is not the monster. It's the one who created him. Now, Canelo Alvarez right now is, you know, undisputed at 168 pounds. He was giving, given the WBC belt at 168 pounds to call him undisputed. And don't you, can't you agree that if you're going to be undisputed that you have to fight for every belt? He didn't have to. And no one says anything. So you would wish that he, you know, going forward, he would have to fight for things. Now, we have a whole bunch of people at 168 that he can fight, great fights. We just turned down 50 million to fight Benavides, who's his mandatory. The WBA refused, refused to uh, force him to fight David Morrell, who's been the regular champion for about two years now, but they're consolidating their belts in every other weight class. So, you know, he doesn't have to fight him. What does David Morrell and David Benavides have in common? They're awesome 50-50 fights with Canelo. So we don't want Canelo in 50-50 fights, do we? So uh, you can remember maybe, you know, a year ago, Canelo requested uh, when they moved the cruiserweight down from one, uh, from 200 down to 190 he requested to fight the the weakest cruiserweight at the time no disrespect but the weakest cruiserweight was M makabu makabu and he requested to fight that guy right and um so the zone didn't want to go for it but he requested now you have badu jack right and canelo has all these fights at, at 168 he has the rematch that he won't take against bivol because bivol wants to fight for his belts but he wants to fight at 175 pounds for Bivol's belts again, which he already got whitewashed in the fight. And Bivol wants to make sure that Canelo doesn't have any excuses by fighting him at 168. Canelo doesn't want to do that. So what does he do? Something like I told you, but although I did say he's going to fight Ed Edgar Belanga, but uh, he's trying to fight Battle Jack at cruiserweight, right? But not at cruiserweight. Some catchweight in between, but he's going to want credit for cruiserweight. Right. So we don't know what weight he's trying to fight Badu Jack at. But uh, here's the thing. You know, we don't need a circus fight. There's so many fights that he just refuses to fight in his own weight division. And it goes down to back to 160. I'm going to remind you at 160 pounds, instead of fighting Demetrius Andrade for real undisputed, he was waiting for uh, Kovalev at 175 pounds to bring him uh, to, to go there and fight Kovalev instead of undisputed at 160 pounds, the middleweight division, right? And Kovalev had just got, got off the fight with Anthony Yard in August. And so Canelo said, you know, well, I forget fighting in September, which I always do. And I could have fought for undisputed on September against Demetrius Andrade, but I would have been in a 50-50 fight. So we ain't having that. So I uh, asked Canelo, uh, asked Kovalev to not even get any rest after that hard Anthony Yard fight, which uh, Kovalev almost lost. So uh, he fought him, I think, in November it was. Kovalev didn't have, he, Kovalev said if he would have had a real break, he would have been, uh, he probably would have won that fight, but he just didn't have a real break. So these are the things that uh, Canelo constantly do. We did, got, uh, not to even to mention the fact that Canelo asked to fight Yildirim at 168 pounds. He asked to do that. He asked to get a franchise title instead of fighting Jamal Charlo. You know, uh, but the problem that we have is, you know, when Canelo beat Kovalev, they called him a, a four-division champion. Matter of fact, when Canelo went up to uh, to fight um, Rory Fielding at the time, you know, they were giving him props for fighting Rory Fielding, even though it was a regular title. So, you know, fighting Kovalev was a better thing. He was became a real legitimate uh, four-division champion. But that's the problem, right? He can become a five-division champion by fighting Badu Jack. So if he's going to do it, I think he should have to go up to 200 pounds and not get some catch weight and then get props for that. Right? Because all it is is deflection from all of the great fights he can have in his own weight division. 
It has never been a, a point where the fights that he goes to do, these circus fights, are better than the fights in his division. What's better than an undisputed fight at, at, in the middleweight division, right? What's better than the David Benavidez or the David Morrell fight at 168 right now, right? There's nothing. But the only thing is, hey, they're hard. They're 50-50. So we can let, what kind of circus fights can I do and get some props for something that's a little bit easier than that? And we've seen him do this so many times. It's not, uh, it's to the point where the boxing community, you're gonna have to say something, man. It's getting to the point where it's ridiculous and it's overkill to be talking about it on the internet. Uh, the people, the mainstream has got to do something, man. You know, it's, at some point, you know, you, you're looking, if you keep calling this guy the face of boxing, nobody's gonna watch boxing. Because even people who are basically casual fans at some point, are just like why you keep calling this guy the face of boxing and he has these people in his weight divisions every time somebody's good he has a thousand reasons to not fight them but we're gonna leave it here man i got things to do man doma sports talk worldwide this is ridiculous and i'm about to hear y'all